Welcome back to the second video lecture course on microelectronic circuits. In the last lecture, we have introduced the course syllabus and the required textbook. In addition to this, we have started to give an overview of topics covered under Unit 1, namely MOSFET. The previous lecture has been ended by comparing the MOSFETs with that of BJTs. In this lecture, the MOSFET device structure is illustrated with more details. The field effect transistors are broadly classified into two types. Number one is enhancement type MOS field effect transistor. Number two, depletion type MOS field effect transistor. Among these two types of field effect transistor, enhancement type MOS field effect transistor is widely used. Therefore, understanding of enhancement type MOSFET device structure is essential at this point. Once we are familiar with the MOSFET device structure, understanding the physical operation and analyzing the terminal characteristics of the device becomes simpler. So let's start analyzing MOSFET device structure. The physical structure of the N-channel enhancement type MOSFET NMOS transistor with its perspective view is shown in this figure. The notation N plus in the figure uh, shows heavily doped N-type silica. Conversely, N minus notation is used to denote lightly doped N-type silica. Similar kind of notation applies for P-type silica. The meaning of the names enhancement and N-channel will be explained shortly. As we can see from the figure, the transistor is fabricated on the P-type uh, substrate which is single crystal silicon wafer that provides physical support for the device and for the entire circuit in the case of an integrated circuit. Two heavily doped N-type regions indicated in the figure as N plus are the source and drain regions created in the uh, substrate region. The depletion region is formed across source and drain regions which is not shown here. Since N plus source drain forms a diode with the P type uh, substrate or body. The silicon dioxide which is an excellent electrical insulator is grown on the surface of the substrate covering the area between source and drain regions. The metal is deposited on top of the oxide layer to form the gate electrode of the device. The metal contacts are also made to the source, drain and substrate uh, uh, regions of the MOSFET device. The substrate is also known as body. The contact to the body is shown on the bottom of the uh, device. In actual ICs, the contact to the body is made available on the top of the device. At this point, it may be noted that the MOSFET is made of four terminals, namely the gate terminal, since uh, gate is an uh, important electrode, it's indicated as uppercase G, the source terminal shown as uppercase S, the drain terminal shown as uppercase D, and the substrate terminal or body terminal is shown as uppercase B. So this represents the perspective or uh, perspective view of the MOS field effect transistor. It may be mentioned now that the name of the device metal oxide semiconductor FET is derived from its physical structure and the name however has become a general one. The process used in the manufacture of the most modern MOSFET is the silicon gate technology process. In this process a type of silicon material called polysilicon is used to form the gate electrode. MOSFET is called by another name known as the insulated gate FET or IGFET. This name also arised from the physical structure of the device. The name IGFET emphasizes the fact that the gate electrode is electrically insulated from the device body. This insulation causes the current in the gate terminal to be extremely small of the order of 10 to the power of minus 15 ampere. As mentioned earlier, the substrate forms PN junctions with the source and drain regions 
at all times during the normal operation, these PN junctions are kept reverse biased. This is due to the reason that the drain will be at a positive voltage relative to the source. The two PN junctions of source and drain region can be effectively cut off by simply connecting the substrate terminal to the source terminal. In our analysis, the substrate is considered as the terminal that has no effect on the device operation and of course MOSFET is treated as a three terminal device being the gate, source and drain. While explaining the MOSFET operation, we will show that voltage applied to the gate terminal controls the current between the a source and a drain terminal. The electrons moves from source to the drain uh, in longitudinal uh, direction whereas the current flows from drain to source in the same longitudinal direction which is uh, in the region labeled as the channel region. It may be noted that the channel region has a, a length L and a width uh, W. The length and the width of the MOSFETs are the two most important parameters of the MOSFET. Typically, channel length L is in the range of 0.1 micrometer to 3 micrometer. The channel width W is in the range of 0.2 to 100 micrometer and silicon dioxide thickness TOX is in the range of 2 to 50 nanometer. Sometimes the oxide thickness is expressed in terms of angstroms, therefore 1 angstroms is equivalent to 10 to the power of minus 1 nanometer or 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. A nanometer is equivalent to 10 to the power of minus 9 meter or 0 0.001 micrometer. A micrometer or micron is equivalent to 10 to the power of minus 6 meter. Finally, it may be noted that MOSFET is a symmetrical uh, device. Therefore, its source region and the drain regions can be interchanged. This interchange will not affect the device terminal characteristics. Next, the MOSFET cross-sectional view is as shown in this uh, figure. That's the end of uh, MOSFET uh, device uh, structure. Before we end this lecture, let's summarize the details covered in this lecture. The NMOS enhancement type MOSFET has a P-type substrate with two N regions diffused forms a source and drain regions. Number two, the SiO2 is grown on the substrate covering the source and drain regions. The metal is deposited on source, SiO2, drain and substrate which forms the source, gate, drain and bulk or substrate terminal. The commonly used uh, MOSFET terminals are source, gate and drain. Typical values of uh, MOSFET are as follows. The channel length L which is in the range of uh, 0 0.1 to 3 micrometer. Channel width W is in the range of uh, 0 0.2 to 100 micrometer. Silicon dioxide TOX is in the range of 2 to 50 nanometer. Number 6, MOSFET is also known as IGFET that arises from its physical structure. MOSFET is a, number 7, MOSFET is a symmetrical device. Therefore, interchange of source and drain terminals will not affect its terminal characteristics. The quiz question of this uh, lecture are as follows. Number 1. Mention different types of enhancement MOSFETs. Number 2. Specify the various terminals of the MOSFET and indicate the semiconductor material for which it is attached. Number 3. Explain the reason for using the words metal, oxide, semiconductor in case of MOSFETs. Number 4. Explain the reason behind naming the MOSFET as IGFET. Number 5. Give the reason for the formation of PN junction in MOSFET device and explain its behavior during normal operation. Number six, indicate the typical values of channel length, width, and oxide thickness. This ends the lecture on MOSFET device structure.
in the next lecture physical operation of the mosfet will be covered thanks for watching this video